Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to fix the missing edit with Elementor button in five different ways. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. As I said, I will show you five different ways. I recommend you to try them each individually before moving on to the next fix. So here we have a page that we would like to edit with Elementor. However, we don't see the edit with Elementor button. So the first fix is make sure you have the latest version installed on your WordPress website. Let's go to dashboard and updates and that may be a trivial solution but you'll be surprised how many issues can be solved by just updating the plugins or the themes to their latest version. So once we updated the plugin, the Elementor plugin or any other plugin we had, we'll refresh our page to see if the button is now showing and we can see that it did help. Another reason that the edit with Elementor link is not showing is maybe you didn't enable Elementor to your pages and posts. So let's verify that. We'll go to Elementor, then settings, and we'll make sure the post and pages checkboxes are checked and we'll save the changes. And then we'll go back to our pages, the back end of the page or the front end, and we should see the edit with Elementor link. Another reason why you don't see the edit with Elementor link is maybe because you didn't initialize the Elementor visual editor for this page specifically. We can see that we can edit the page with the default Gutenberg editor. We'll click on it and then we'll click on edit with Elementor button. And from now on, because we initialize the Elementor for this page, we will be able to edit with Elementor. Another possible reason why the edit with Elementor button is not showing is conflict between different plugins. Caching plugins, for example, known to have issues like that. So let's go to our plugins page and now we'll deactivate all the caching plugins that we have. So right now we have the auto optimize plugin. I will deactivate it and then I will refresh the page and I will see that I can edit the page with Elementor. However, if you still want to keep the caching plugins active, uh, just make sure to uncheck the aggregate JavaScript files box, just like so. And once you save the changes, you will be able to keep this plugin active and still edit the page with Elementor, just like so. And the last fix, it's a little bit more advanced. I only recommend you to use it if you know anything about functions. So there is a chance that one of the functions is conflicting with the core files or with Elementor files. Right now we have a function that is hiding the admin bar completely. As you can see, we are logged in, but we can't see the admin bar. So therefore we need to deactivate it. We'll go to appearance, team file editor, and into the functions.php file. And here we have all the functions regarding and related to our website. Now this function specifically will hide the admin bar for everybody. That's why we can't see any of the links. Therefore, I will comment it out I will, by adding two forward slashes to the left of it and update the file. Then I will refresh the page and I can see the admin bar back again. Again, this is more advanced and I only recommend you to do it when you know what the function is doing. Before wrapping things up, I would like to show you how to get any premium WordPress plugin or theme for 97% of the original price. Just go to pluginsforwp.com and click on the download free in order to download our free plugin manager that we developed. After you download it, go back to your WordPress website into plugins, add new, upload plugin, and over here choose and upload the plugin that you just downloaded from us. Click install and then activate the plugin. Then go to the new plugins for WP tab that was added to your WordPress sidebar. Browse between the thousands plugins and themes that we are offering. If you are looking for a specific one, type it over here and the results will appear in front of you. Browse the search results and find the item that you were looking for. When you found it, just click on purchase. You will be redirected to our cart where you can purchase this plugin for only $4.99, which is 97% of the original price. If you are looking to get multiple items, consider getting one of our unlimited downloads plans and enjoy unlimited downloads for only $12.97 a month or $87 a year. 
Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.